we currently pay twenty one hundred a month that goes one hundred percent towards the oh, purchase price. Yes. We've been paying on it for quite a while. Three, yeah. three years. So you want to walk now. <laughs> I no, I remember it. Uh, I'll move it. I'll second. Further questions, comments? Okay, excellent. Clerk, call roll, please. Mr. Lamacha? Yes. Mr. Lockwood? Yes. Mr. Coffin? Yes. Mr. Lidman? Yes. Mr. Burns? Yes. Uh, Frank, a quick administrative question along along these lines. Um, with the purchase of the property, it was in there as it was in the option. Can that just be done now that the financing is in place, or does that require a separate board resolution? And the reason I ask that Again, question, the board should exercise the option. Okay. The reason I ask that question is we're up against that July first deadline. They should do it right now. Okay. Then you just notify the other party that the option's been exercised and they have to ship the papers. Um, I don't know who does the community bank's work up here, but that will be where it will go. You don't need a separate attorney to pay to do it because they're taking the mortgage back on that land. Okay. So how do we do that kind of on the fly then? Is that just, just on the fly? Just need a motion to, motion to uh, purchase the uh, I don't see, I would RS say property. More, more like... A motion exercise to exercise the, exercise the option on the property at 59, whatever the address is. Okay. Uh, and then the board does vote on it. Thanks, Frank. So you need an option, uh, a, a motion to exercise the option for the property located at 5952 State Highway 812, Ogdensburg. The purchase option. No, that's, it's part of the lease. It's an option to purchase. Oh, okay. It's yeah. an option to purchase. I'll move that resolution, Mr. Chairman. Okay. I'll second. Second. <laughs> well, I, I guess the overlying question is we need this property for what reason? This would allow uh, commercial development uh, to occur uh, adjacent to water and, sewer, water and sewer infrastructure, which will be owned by the authority once it's in place. This will also allow for future economic development and other annexation type options. Okay. What we've done in the past is look at uh, site, site development where the water lines go, mm -hmm. easement rules and regulations. This eliminates a lot of those type of things. So in some ways it will pay for itself because of those rights and privileges that this does. And an important distinction, this will, uh, I would highly recommend this not become part of the official definition of the airport because once it becomes part of the FAA defined airport, it has all kinds of restrictions and strings and Things you can do and things you can't. Okay. Clerk, call roll, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Coffin? Yes. Ms. Whitten? Yes. Mr. Burns? Yes. Mr. Lamacha? Yes. Okay. Does that have to be resurveyed right here? Nope. It was all done at the all time of the uh, lease agreement. Okay, good. Next up is the uh, B1, this approval of the lease financing for final contract payment to E-Transit. This is for the 120709.21, which represents the final contract payment that is due E-Transit. The rates, terms, and conditions are in the attachment. This is a final bill. What, what is the final <laughs> bill, all right? Well, I, 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 this is a uh, milestone six that was not uh, sent to the authority by the contractor, nor was it recorded in the authority's books. So they didn't send us a bill. It's not recorded. But now they want their, they want their money. Yes. I assume this was covered in the contract with the OBPA and the too. It is very clear in the contract, yes. Yeah. If, if we had all things positioned correctly, 
Oh. This bill would not be this expensive because I know we were in the thirty thousand dollar range. Now we're in the forty five thousand dollar range because of two years that they provided a service that we thought. You're ahead. Yeah. Oh, is the next one? Is the system yeah. up and running the way we want it, the way we need it? I did it just recently break down again. We did have some issues in the middle of April that were not resolved until the latter parts of May. Um, but as of today, we believe we are functioning in full force. We don't have any recourse to them for that, that type of service interruption, but we could deduct X amount of dollars. At the time, we did not have a service agreement and we had not paid them the funds that they were owed. So they were resistant early on in performing the work, the correction work, and that changed over time with negotiation. Well, um, do we still have a warranty on this system? No. <laughs> it was only a year? That's no, not even that long. Short of period. months. Yeah. You know, we're after really? <laughs> so they don't have to guarantee that this stuff works. No, that service agreement is is what the is, if you get one, it's supposed to guarantee that they continue to make the, the system work Upgrades. by upgrading the the software and upgrading the hardware. Hardware probably not as often as the software. So, I mean, if you if you have an iPhone, you see how many times you get you know new software. Probably every couple months they fix something else. Hopefully they'll never get to that level with this, but that's what your that's what the service contract is for. It's basically the software. Well, that's in yes, but there are two separate issues going on here. The first issue is the system was installed. Bills one for uh, one through five were received and paid. Bill six was not received. Bill six was not paid. As a result, bill uh, milestone six is this hundred and twenty thousand uh, dollars through uh, key bank. Uh, lease financing. There's a, the separate issue is the next agenda item is the service agreement. We've had no service agreement on this um, system for the last two years. And we had a malfunction that occurred right around that power interruption back in early May that started something with the system went haywire and it took them a month to figure it out and fix it. So six is what we didn't originally pay. Correct. But it was part of the contract. Yes, very specifically just for the spelled equipment. out. Yes. I don't see where we have an option. That's another twenty-seven hundred dollars a month. Yeah, I see. That. Well, let, let me let me. <laughs> for four what years. is the predicted lifespan of this piece of equipment? Well, the last Five one to seven years, huh? Five to seven years. It's all Five to seven years. Here you go. Three years into it. And so, and if you keep it, years. if you keep it, I just do the math here. Whatever. If you go another five years after this and you keep this thing running, you're going to almost be three hundred thousand on the next five-year service agreement. So what you're doing, you're making a decision about a half a million dollars here. Okay, I mean, it's all, so the, the question is, I, I don't know. It just fine. goes, it goes back that we made a bad decision initially. Well, yes I and think. no, well, yes and no, because one, initially the cost. No, not this. We no, got a I discount. Know, no, no, I know this, yeah. We got a discount. We because, got a discount, all right. Because we, we, we got an operating, <laughs> operating. <laughs> <laughs> you got a discount. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, you're saying I saved you fifty dollars, and you did. Yeah, I said I got a dress on sale for fifty dollars. <laughs> no, it was supposed to cost a hundred. I see you. Uh, I, I'm troubled by this. I really am troubled by this gouging or whatever it wants to be. Maybe. Well, I, well, excuse not, me. That's, you got to do one at well, a time. Yeah, the first one. Yeah. Do the yeah. first one first. Is, is what we, we all made know. a contract for and never paid them for. Oh, right. This is installation. Maybe. Of the right. Now, well, it's, uh, it's definitely. We, we, they've looked at it over and over again. Well, well how much was it? The, Milestone six uh, was for that amount. 
So they didn't, they didn't even ask for interest for two years, probably because they didn't bill you for two years. Uh, right. They had a changeover in their accounting department at the same time. Right. Our CFO got sick, and they never sent the bill. We never received it. Whatever combination happened there, um, they didn't miss $120,000 for almost two years. So they got back on their feet. I'm, I'll, I'll make the motion, Mr. Chairman. Not because I like it, because <laughs> I think we legally have to pay. I, I agree with you. I, I don't like it either, but I'll second that. I'm trying to buy an internal control officer. Right? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, you're not going to go with this. <laughs> You'll be on the wrong end of the civil litigation. Yeah. The contract has six years. Yeah. It cost us more than 120 And they have a 9% interest rate. Well, wait a minute. Let, let's, let me ask. I don't know. All right, so we owe them two years, correct? No, this is for the no, you're commingling the things. Yeah, this, this is, is for the actual. This is agenda item B one. This is, this the is that we bought. for milestone That's six. Okay. It's the installation payment of the system itself. Oh, I don't so know. the well, authority had okay. a contract with E Transit. All right, I got that part. Okay. Yep. And That's the motion on the floor. Yep. Just, okay, just I'm ahead of myself here. Okay. Well, let's get ahead. Get ahead. Well, I go with you. You go and take a phone call of you. you. Lose the world. Okay, I got it now. All right. So you're in the. When I'm in the second part, you're still in the first. All right. So we have a motion. And second. And a second. Okay. Clear call the roll, please. Mr. Coffin. Yes. Ms. Whitten. Yes. Mr. Burns. Yes. Mr. Lamacho. <laughs> I'll say yes to this part. Mr. Lockwood. Yes. Here's a good one. Now, since the installation of the system, there's been two years where there's been no maintenance agreement uh, between the parties. And it's specifically spelled out in the agreement itself with the transit that the installation is not the maintenance service maintenance agreement. Um, as we learned recently, we can't run without the maintenance agreement. Therefore, we negotiated a, a deal with e transit that starts a maintenance contract April 1, 2018 and ends 331, 2023 at the rates and terms you see there. What did we do with our old system? Was there a maintenance agreement with our old oh. system too, Wade? Uh, yes, there was. And it's out in the front closet. <laughs> front closet. <laughs> what, the system? It's, uh, All it the is, system is? It is. Is all it, the computers. Is we got a buyer? Do we have a buyer it's for it? It's ancient. It's ancient. Okay. It's like an Atari game today. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's older than Atari. <laughs> it's an old. That system ran for, okay. I want to say, a total of between 15 and 20 years. Oh, it was 20 years, yeah. yeah. Under, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Under Article 1.0 and 10 of contract, what is level one on site support do? Because we provide that. Uh, level one on-site support is that's where we have, uh, I don't know what it specifically is, but functionally that means we have Russ go out and do something out there, and they ask Russ to pull the switch, flip this thing, pull that board. That's what that's what he does in that aspect. What, right, why I ask, what concerns me, we do something, whatever this level one is, and something happens? Are we liable for... Shouldn't be liable because he's not going to do anything unless he's instructed by the the people at E-Transit. And we he know has some kind of E-Transit type training as yeah. well oh, because yeah. he was our um, installation, yeah. not he, lead, but co-lead on that Is program. he the only one that has this training? Uh, E-Transit keeps that very tight to the vest <coughs> because it's proprietary in nature. So Russ knows some things, but not everything. He wouldn't be able to go right. out and do the programming, so for example. That's what I'm thinking with level two because they're saying remote support system maintenance services. I'm assuming that's because of their uh, it's their equipment. Yeah. Well, their their computer programs uh, they have access to our our you know our functioning computer programs that they install. So whatever can be fixed remotely, they'll do it whether it's hardware or software. 
They can dial right into the toll booth and fix things, or dial right into the, the server here and fix it. Just wonder what level one is meant. I don't know if anybody on this board knows that we looked into Easy Pass. Oh. Yeah. Really? And the cost was beyond astronomical. Yeah. Um, it's proprietary equipment in the extreme, plus uh, requires a, um, I don't know how else to phrase it, but a cut of back office. Uh, of uh, back office revenue, if you will. So, the three to six hundred thousand or something. It like was pretty steep. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, if you got the George Washington Bridge here, you're, you're going to yeah. need that because you want to move traffic. But this is not the George yeah. Washington yeah. Bridge. You want to see traffic? You can go, go across the new uh, Tappan Zee Bridge. Yeah. Tappan Zee it's Bridge. It's six. It's six. It's only one. One side is six lanes. Yeah. On one side. So yeah. three each going, there'll be 12 lanes all together when they're all said and done. And I got my bill, because they photographed me as I went through. So I went to New York City and they, they, don't, they didn't get me on the way out, but just the way in. Well, that's the GW, though. It just it takes care of one way. And so if you get on the island, you only get off the fly. Yeah, and if you want to go to the island, there's another bridge. Yeah. <laughs> that's so another by thing. comparison, I'm fuzzy on one number, and that's the easy pass number, but I know I'm right on the order of magnitude. It was just about two and a half million for that system. A new replacement of what we had at the time, the revenue market system, was 1.2 million. We value engineered it through having SciTech help us with the uh, uh, with the bid, and we got a system that replaced it for $600,000. That's all we got. The other thing is, too, when I looked, when I was asked the question to look at uh, the request for a proposal, the responses, especially for me transit, uh, our request for proposal requested maintenance contract, but bit you know, and our uh, acceptance, our contract didn't have it in there for other reasons. Yeah. I mean, that was where that thirty thousand dollar figure was. I think yeah. that was in their bid. Yes, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. that went away as soon as they bought it. As soon as we bought it. No, it went away as soon as you didn't. Request it. Yeah. You didn't request a maintenance agreement. Yeah. I was trying to think of the lady that collects the dollar going across the Fort Madison Bridge and you just hand her a dollar. You know? <laughs> that was not fine. Whatever it was, I don't know. I don't just, just think of accountability and type of things, whatever. Well, uh, did I hear a motion? No. I don't like it, but I don't know what my options are of not liking it, but I guess I'm trying to, you know, all the type of things. I, it's kind of like there's part of a business that you don't really understand that this is, comes with it, and it's like, really? i got to pay this kind of amount? But Well, I guess in the, if you go with this and in the agreement, and just like the problem we had before, like Tim, you just said, it broke down, say, just April 1st, and we just got it running again, or it's a week or two weeks. We should have some recourse to that company if it takes us that long to to get something done. Well, I don't know what happened or why it took so long, but if uh, you, you can surmise that if you hadn't been paid for maintenance for a couple of years, that you aren't going to jump right off the end of the bridge and help out right away, you you know... I don't know if it'll be any quicker, Doug. I'm not saying, and I'm not saying they dragged their feet, but we didn't have an agreement with them, and that was tough negotiation from these gentlemen here to get them there to, to fix it. I guess it was a real significant problem for our commuters. Yes. Yeah. And that's big business for us, and we couldn't yeah. fool around with it. So. I guess you know. I guess where I come from on this, it just since I was sitting on this board, it just seems like anything we buy, anything. The new road that we put in the port and all, all that. When we have a problem, okay, it always comes back where we have to pay. And you know what? Some of that stuff isn't our or wasn't our problem, but we still have to pay. And I just like to see something in these agreements where we have some recourse. If this isn't matter, that's not matter. 
I, that's all. That's where I'm coming from. I would assume that if the, they couldn't get more the, money, right? If they couldn't get the system up and operating again, that you would have recourse. Yeah, we protected yeah. ourselves on that one with the uh, performance bond, but to your point, that was after the fact. It yeah. wasn't in the original specs, and uh, it ended up costing us twenty-one thousand dollars, I believe. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Every, you know, everything just even going forward with this contract, they're agreeing to keep their system running. There, there's no doubt it is their system. I would assume that, you know, if something happened, short of a mechanical failure, which computers can have mechanical failure, but go something wrong with their software and they can't fix it or give us new software that you would have recourse to the court system to come out to go after them. Because that, that's what you buy a maintenance contract. When I do it in my law office, I call up, I expect them to show up. Mm -hmm. I don't expect them to come next week or two weeks from now. I expect them to show up. Okay. I just but I'm not saying, you know, that all I of this... Doug, it's, the answer is it's another lawsuit, and that doesn't mean yeah. you got money. It's well, I came up with two parts of logic here, and I, I was thinking if I paid $1.2 million and I, and I got the deal for 600000 and I turn around and I got to pay two forty five for a service contract, I said, well, wait a minute, so I really paid eight forty five for it. And so if I use that type of logic, it's, it's a good deal. If I paid one point two million, then I got to pay two point. Now I'm going to pay one point five. So I, I, I guess if you use what you paid for, I, you think that's all there was to it. Now you realize there's more to it. I, I guess it's a good deal. Now I think about it. It's a good deal. I, I just kind of like okay. I could have paid one point two, then I didn't pay. I paid eight seven eight forty five. So now, I don't know what portion of quote those two years worth of free service that we didn't pay for is included in this five-year agreement. I'm assuming it is. This resolves everything and starts the new agreement yeah. from April 1 forward. April 1, 2018 forward. Yeah. So, so, I mean, th these figures would be com would be lower if that we had already had it. We wouldn't be... Well, you, did, you yes. got it, but yeah. we didn't yes. know it yet. Now, the only thing I don't see on here is parts. Parts. Correct? So we got a major malfunction. Yeah, that should be part parts, of the maintenance. Parts aren't covered under the maintenance. So no. if you have a more than fried, you pay the it's, it's load. Oh, okay. there, there parts. parts. That's part parts. of what I just said. Parts. Whether you're talking this company or any of these tool <clears> system <throat> companies, they're, they've all got one thing in common. They're all highly proprietary, and at the end of the day, they all have ongoing maintenance agreements with them. So whether you're talking about a $1.2 million system, that we avoided and didn't install that would have had ongoing maintenance components just as this one just as this one does but, but why do you pay for maintenance so all we're doing is paying eight hundred thousand dollars for a guy to come up in the booth and our guy will do half the work that's my problem yeah. does it doesn't make sense as the system as the system gets older you'll have other options but as of right now no i mean this is the this is an air conditioner with extra zeros after it. Um, so if you've got one up in the industrial park, only company X is certified to touch it, unless you bring in company X uh, from out of the region and have that tech work on it, or company X's tech retired and then opened up their own shop and can maintain it. You one know, of the issues with this system, it's so new, there are no um, you know, private people, X, that could come in and do it, or there is no competing firm. You know, I, I look at this this whole situation we've been in with, with this thing, and we knew we needed a new system. We jumped at it real quick, and I don't think, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying blaming. I'm just blaming us all. We didn't do a good job at knowing what we were getting. We 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 had a lot of things in our plate at the time, okay, if you remember, and we left it all up to one person, and we did not do a good job at really investigate whether this was our best option and our best system. I mean... It, well, my, my dialogue, I remember going, really? This is $1.2, $2 million price tag for these type of systems? I'm going, oh, I, I, it, it just mind-boggling me when I think back, I, how can it be this expensive? And then you start realizing, like, you investigate Easy Pass and other systems, you're going... Ah, there's more to accounting these type of things than what they build and how they build things. I mean, they don't just, just take money. 
There's mm -hmm. more things that, that they do, but Mo moving forward, I don't care if it's if it's that that toll booth at the airport. I think we've got to do a better job. We've got to do a better job at knowing what we're getting and really protecting ourselves somehow. Okay. Well, we did that in this instance because oh, we had uh, uh, SciTech design the bid for us. We mm -hmm. put it I out the competitive yeah. bid, yeah. and uh, this was the lowest priced option, but. Yeah. So your point's well taken. Yeah, and you had you had to accept them either reject them all yeah. or accept the lowest price, or justify why they it wasn't uh, competitive with your RFP, and yeah. that means you're and, and there already was because they approved it before it got here. Uh, there's that's the trouble with the you don't have the discretion to do what you want sometimes. Yeah. Well, the thing that uh, also forced this issue originally not to revisit history, but the previous company their tech had retired, and every time there was an issue, they were pulling the tech out of retirement to work on it, where um, the, the equipment itself was so old that they wouldn't even support it anymore. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, the proprietary um, company in this instance said, aha, we'll force you into buying a $1.2 million toll system. No. Was the, the game plan there. Do we have to pay this up front? Uh, no, no, this months as no. it goes. No. Maintenance agreement. Yep. What, Megan, what you probably didn't what happened was the toll booth was on the other side of uh, of the uh, border station, and so we upgraded and moved all the stuff here. And part of the upgrade, moving the equipment, moving all the stuff, whatever. We realized that it malfunctioned many, many times. Couldn't carry the load, and now all of a sudden you realize, oops, what, what's next? And here comes this big price tag, and you're thinking, how oh, can this be that expensive? I don't know. But there you have it. Didn't we include the airport in part of this? No, it came along a different time. Different time. Yeah. Different time. We were looking for a system that would communicate with the two computers, and we still haven't uh, reached that symmetry, but that's another time. That'll be in our new one in five years or six years. Take care of it, <laughs> Plug it in, Doug. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, I don't think I heard a promotion yet. Uh, can you send can we table this for six months? Or <laughs> can you send us uh, what reports this generates? What does it can do for us, the system? Certainly. I, hope. I know we talked about it when the guy came and we had a discussion, but I don't remember exactly. I'm just wondering, are we using it to its uh, full potential? Yeah, we can do that. Thank You've you. seen some of them in, in this format yeah. as well. Yeah. Looking for me to make the motion? I, I hate to. No, I don't, whatever I you guys want to do. I mean, I was, uh, but it's I about 7% of the original purchase price. Say it again. 7% of the original person. Purchase price, this the annual maintenance contract, which is good compared to what I've seen in the past. Okay. Now that's coming moves. from healthcare. I move the resolution, Mr. So you okay. service contract, an MRI or an X-ray machine. Those are usually between eight and ten, and sometimes eleven or twelve percent. Hmm. It's all in the rentals. I'll second the motion. Any further questions, comments? Has this been, how has this been paid for until this point in time? What we, have we done anything, paying them anything? They have not billed and we have not paid. Can we continue that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, you save a month, guys. Think, you guys, you save, uh, well, you save well, $2,000. You have to answer to, yourself. Just is, to, are you going to be able to run a manual system out there? And collect tolls no. manually. No. No. To, just to go what you just said, in all seriousness, okay? They haven't built this yet. That's now, when we say we're going to go with this maintenance agreement, and we're going to get a bill for a year and a half or two years maintenance. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 okay. no, no, no. All right. First bill we're going to get is three times whatever forty-five thousand dollars is divided by twelve. Okay. So we're going to have to pay yeah. April, April, May, May June. June. Okay. Um, All right. Okay, that's the question. All right, so you're retroing it. Okay. 
Can I make a second for you, Megan? Yeah. Yes, okay. she did. Yep. All right. Uh, any more questions, comments? For a call roll, please. Ms. Witten? Yes. Mr. Burns? Yes. Mr. LaMancha? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Longford? Yes. Mr. Coffin? Yes. That's close. Yeah. Enthusiastic. Yeah. It's the tough part when you're between the rock and the hard spot, you still get blood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you keep yeah. squeezing. Yeah. Uh, next item up is agenda item C1. This is approval of an easement for the city of Ogdensburg. This is for a, um, a pump station in the heavy industrial park. Uh, it's a no-cost easement to the city, and uh, suggested legal descriptions are there, the maps are there, uh, locations over on uh, Route 37, and this supports the heavy industrial park. So moved. Second. Okay. Oh, thank you. Sorry, Doug. You just got your blessing, Frank. Okay. <laughs> well, the thing is, I was working, uh, not this one, I haven't seen this one, that was a s school that I had. Yes. Yeah. And that one I brought you over to form to sign. That one's fine. It's all set to go. Uh, I didn't know anything about it, but, you know, if the pumping station is going to be for our benefits in our industrial park, so it doesn't take up much land. So do they need permission from uh, no help at all? No. Who owns no, the property? It's, our, it's our your land. property. Right, but I mean the crossing their land or anything? This, uh, again, it's hard to tell because uh, I can only see part of it with the lift yeah. station being on our land. Yeah. But uh, the, the map that you see on, on here shows it all on the us. So they, no they, they, they come involved. up the road over here? Is that what they're doing? Well, it's already there. This is uh, installation of a lift station on an existing line. Okay, so there's no heavy equipment going in there? The, or is there? I can't speak to that. I'm not sure, sir. Okay. Well, I just wonder if somebody comes out and it disrupts, uh, you know, somebody's lawn property or whatever. Okay. Who's responsible for something like that? Just a quick side note. You mentioned mental health. Can we get a hold of whoever's running the psych center over there or whatever and see if we can do something with this road going into the industrial park all the way up through to... Is that our responsibility? Is no, mental that's health? their responsibility. We've um, asked and asked in writing. It's fallen on deaf ears. Can we do anything with our politicians? Something's got to get done over there. I mean, they're, they're involved in there. The potholes are absolutely atrocious. My God, I mean. We continue to put uh, coal patch and things I know, in there. I know what we do, uh, but I mean, it, it needs to be. That's it. It's a patch. It's not a fix. So, yeah. Well, listen, in fairness to both sides, heavy duty trucks are going down that road and turn it in. Yeah. Okay, so whew, they're they're the ones that are I will call say the culprits. I mean obviously you got the free stall cycle or whatever. I, I don't know So we're just gonna leave it like that? I mean I, I don't know the answer to that Doug. But well, I mean, that's I, what I'm I saying to you. I think that for three years the same thing, but you know, it just I uh, think we have to get a hold of something. I think we have to sit down with someone. I mean we could write another letter and request another meeting. I, I'm just you know yeah. I just come out there again today, you know, and it's just it's nuts. It's a big hole, sir. And people have said that the Bridge Report knows that. I said the Bridge Report does and all that. All right. I just whatever we could do to move something along there, I mean the whole thing's probably got to be dug out and redone all the way up past the last industrial building. It's probably got to be built, but, yeah. It's in rough shape. Anyways, back to the easement. <laughs> I'll move it. Uh, now it's been moved. Oh, has it? Yeah. Right. I moved yeah. it. Both yeah. have. Second was... Megan. No, it was, uh, I don't think it was. Oh, did I say it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you want to move it again? <laughs> <laughs> We're losing, losing direction here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, all those, oh, quick color roll, please. Mr. Burns? Yes. Mr. LaMacha? Yes. Mr. Lofton? Yes. Mr. Coffin? Yes. Ms. Whitney? Yes. Approved. <clears throat> Agenda item D1 is approval of an FAA automated um, weather observation system project. 
Um, this is for <coughs> a replacement for a system that is uh, 20 years old. Uh, went through the airport committee. It's funded 95% uh, FAA, 2.5% DOT, 2.5% OBPA. Will it? Second. Ron? To all the people who are watching this on television, who are watching, what does this mean to the airport? Well, the um, automated weather observation system pretty much uh, reports our current weather conditions out at the airport. We don't have uh, a forecaster at the airport, so this automated system is the only system that's available to provide that information for, for planes to land. Without it, they would have ac absolutely no idea on what the field conditions were in relation to the winds, directions, any type of precipitation that was currently falling or anything like that. I always had a, a goal of mine with the Weather Channel when they mentioned areas up here in northern New York that I hear other cities. And I would like to have Ogdenford, New York, because of our air service provider or whatever, to be a selected city to be mentioned on the Weather Channel. Is there a way in your goal and pattern or whatever that you could work on something like that, that we could make that happen? And I'm not sure who makes that selection process, but I appreciate it was researched, and maybe somebody can make that happen because I really believe the weather here and what our employment numbers are, okay, is strictly more important than some other cities that are mentioned. So this is the piece of equipment that takes those readings. There's a separate subscription service right. that we can purchase that uploads that that does exactly right. what you're. And that's something we ought to talk about. Question on your resolution, though, that says not to exceed five hundred thousand. Yes, and that's because the project itself has not been bid yet. It hasn't been bid yet. Yes. So the the ten could go up. 